About to go live. What? Where? On kick. What's up? Chat. Chat. Let me let me elaborate. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's not exclusive. Well, he just said he's gonna do his intro here and then go to kick. That's kick. Kick does their streams where basically the streamer. It's smart. Basically, you do three hours or four hours on Twitch, and then you switch over to your platform when you peak at viewership, so that way you get the viewers to go over there. But this is, in my opinion, the biggest news ever in the history of Twitch. Like, I think this is the scariest news ever in the history of Twitch. It's like, dude, XUC's the guy. And it's not like he's, like, not trying to rain on Kai's parade or anybody, but, like, XUC's been the guy for four years. Um, today, there has been a bit of, uh, of a shakeup in the Twitch space. I heard this was going to happen. Um, I heard it was going to be today. Somehow, I still couldn't manage to go live until 11 p.m. Oh, my God. So, uh, basically, XQC signed with Kick for $100 million. Now, respectfully, people that say stuff like this, you don't understand that Kick makes Twitch money. Like, Kick is using Twitch's services. And if Twitch really wanted, they could just stop giving these services to Kick. But right now, they're just sitting back, like, thanks, I guess. But also, honestly, I don't really care that much. Is this a joke? Twitch star signs $100 million deal with rival platform? What? Yo! $100 million? The, the reason why this is a non-exclusive deal is because this is good for kick. They get the farm out from a pre-existing base of users and literally redirect them over to kick with a non-exclusive contract. The reality is they will absolutely ban XQC. Twitch will probably ban XQC. There will be a lot of hubbub. There will be a lot of controversy surrounding it because they're going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? You keep, you know, you basically keep farming from the website from Twitch and like bringing them over to kick and especially if he does something that's like TOS, uh, it's like defeating uh, Twitch's terms of service in a competitive app. It's not just about like taking off their non-exclusive deal, which they are going to, obviously. Um, they will literally, they will probably take action against that because I, I get why, like they will, cons they will find a new reason to consider this to be a bannable offense. Generating XQC God Seed, moves to kick. generating God Seed for generated Dream Seed. Okay. Generating God Seed Zero per generated uh, Dream uh, Seed. But, uh. Who asked? In my opinion, XQC is the greatest streamer of all time. As far as consistency, actual, um, classic streamer, he's the GOAT. He's put it out hundreds of hours in since he's been streaming. He's never, even when he got lit. He still doesn't take time off. He's on this shit always. This motherfucker is going through a whole divorce and moving and shit and still streams. It's crazy. Shout out to XQC for making that move. Um, great fucking move, man. Great fucking move. And honestly, I, I'm on kick, bro. And I, I was the first one to come. And it's hard for people to move knowing that Aiden Ross is the face of kick. And I've done some pretty crazy fucked up things on this platform. I'm not going to lie. So with that being said, I wanna I wanna you know sharpen up and 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 really really start to just make good content and not really focus on negative bullshit. Where are you? About to go live. What? Where? On kick. Oh shit, Chat. boys. Chat. Let me let me elaborate. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Chat. Listen, Chad, guys, listen, I've been really, really nervous about this, okay, because this is, this is pretty massive, okay? Oh, shit, boys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Just 20 hold months. Up. I don't, don't want to just forget that. Oh, now. shit, boys. XQC is, uh, man, huge, huge props to him, man. Huge congratulations, dude. That is, 
That's very, very big life-changing money. I know X is a good dude, man. I like to see good things happen to good people, you know? It sounds so good. I mean, he's making more money than LeBron James on his LeBron on his Lakers squadron, so... At least I think, unless I was unless I was a troll. I swear LeBron was like making 98 point something for two years. This is crazy. I don't know how to start this video. This is crazy. Streamer XQC just signed a two-year, $100 million contract with Kick.com. This is the biggest streaming contract, bar none. The second biggest, Ninja, $50 million. He doubled it. XQC is officially getting paid more than LeBron James. LeBron! He's getting paid $97.1 million over two years, which makes him the top paid player in the NBA, and XQC is making more money. That is fucking mind-blowing. Wow. Zoinks. Goodness gracious. Jinkies. We may be in the midst of one of the wackiest moments in internet content creation history. If these reports are accurate, and I, I can't speak to the authenticity myself, I haven't, had, I haven't had my team of analysts really dive into the weeds of it and get down into the meat here, but there are reports that XQC just signed a two-year, $100 million streaming deal with Kick, and it's not even exclusive to Kick. If that number is accurate, that would make it the 12th largest sports contract ever signed. Yes, chat, I heard, bro. XQC... Has signed the fucking deal of death. Dirty. Oh my fucking god! Good for that nigga, bro. That nigga got a fucking uh uh. What, what do you call it? What's the word, chat? Um, what do you call it? What's the word, bro? Unexclusive? Unexclusive? R -R 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 -R. Is that how you say it? An exclusive? How do you say it? Non-exclusive deal, bro. Yo, big W, big, big W. That was a big W. Like, that's, like, that is the big yeah. W ever, bro. That nigga can literally stream wherever you want type shit. Tight shit. Tight shit. Um, I like the strategy he's using right now, too, chat. I've seen, I've seen the trailer. I've seen the trailer. Me and my boy Phantom was together. we seen the trailer. That shit was good. That shit was, uh, crazy and shit like that. Ski. Um, but yeah, ski. That SQC move, bro. That SQC move was big, chat. First of all, why is this fat booty ass still streaming on, like, like, doesn't he have hours? Like, is he streaming on Twitch right now? I know he, it's a non-exclusive contract, but like, god damn. He gonna be streaming on both big hours and shit? Oh, he on kick right now? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm not gonna lie, though, chat. I knew about the SUC shit for like a week, like a minute now. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I gotta do. And then... Bro, that is fire though. I always kind of doubted it though. I, I always kind of doubted it though. I always kind of doubted though. I always kind of doubted it though. Low key, I was like, that nigga ain't going that shit. The fact, XQC got the biggest balls on his streaming shit. The biggest streamer for the longest period of time in Twitch history. Like he's like on some LeBron, like the longevity, bro. Think about the longevity. Yes, Ninja has the highest peak or whatever. And Kai's peak is up there too. But like XQC is like, like, the goat of Twitch, bro. That big for that long, pause. That big for that goddamn long. So he's so big for that long is crazy. It's crazy. That consistency for that many years on this shit. It's crazy as hell. For him to pick up his balls and say, "Yeah, I'm going over here now. I'm going. I'm going over here now." That's just props, bro. That's just props. Excuse me, is switching the kick? Yes, bro. I've been told for the last hour. Good. I hope he. Never comes back. Okay? And they'll like him better over there. And hopefully he takes his shitty little juicers with him. So you're never gonna see a fucking loser check XQCL. Like, back up. Okay, I'm actually getting nothing out of this. I'm muting him. What? Dude. Um, okay. About as large as the two-year contract extension signed by Los Angeles Lakers LeBron James last year. Yep. Damn. That's actually... I could see... Kick wanting to pay more for Felix for the headlines. Stream hours. It's probably percentage-based, is my guess. He has to stream a certain percent on Kick. 
Like, if he streams 20 hours, it's probably... I, what, 50, 50, 10 on each? Which I think is, like... I think Kick likes to do that. They like people to go on Twitch, get their viewers, and then say, all right, follow me over to Kick now. I mean, they're trying to leech off of Twitch, which is smart. I wonder how much gambling he's going to do. Kick is averaging 110,000. Hey, dude, get off my keyboard, dude. God damn it. <laughs> 